Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. It is Moon Moth Goddess. Thank you guys so much for being here. Your continued love and support here on the channel. So today we're just going to do a quick pick a card reading, hopefully. Every time I say that, <laughs> Spirit has other plans, but I'm trying to do a quick one today because um, I am a little bit short on time um, with recording. I do have some personal stuff that I'm uh, working on. Um, that I need to, to get back to. So quick reading today. What's coming next in your love life? We do have three piles today. Um, I want you also just to keep in mind that this is a general reading. Um, I know that sometimes when I do readings like this about what's coming towards you and who's coming and stuff like that, sometimes there are certain energies that are not the most attractive. You know, sometimes there are some sometimes a person that has toxic traits or stuff like that and you know just remember that you are in control okay of your of your own life and if there is anybody that comes towards you that is not coming in the correct energy the right energy you don't have to date them you don't have to be with them <laughs> you always have a choice of saying no you can steer clear of people like that and not even get involved okay so you always have a choice here. If something comes through and it doesn't really resonate for you, you can choose another pile. You can check out one of the other readings that I do have in the Pick a Card uh, playlist. And remember, it's a general reading. It's the collective's energy, okay? If it resonates for you, that's great. If not, no worries, okay? So pile one, we have the deer. <clears throat> and that is with this amethyst crystal here, okay? And that is the deer. Pile number one, what's coming next in your love life? Like I said, these are just going to be short, quick readings. We have the flamingo here for pile two, and that is with this rhodonite. Pile number three, we have the bowl. And that was with this little blue crystal here. And I'm sorry, I don't remember what this one is called, but it's a little blue one with the bull. That is pile three. Okay, those of you that want to know what tarot, what oracle decks I'm using, I always list them in the description box for you guys. Okay, so pause the video if you need a little bit more time to meditate on the artwork, the crystals, whatever one you feel the most intuitively drawn to timestamps are down below and I will see you guys at your reading. Pipe one. So those of you that resonate with the deer and the amethyst, this is going to be a reading. So as I said, we're going to be doing some quick readings today, hopefully for me, <laughs> because I have things to do um, today. I'm a little short on time. So what is coming next in your love life? We have the deer we have the alligator with silence and introspection. We have honeysuckle with ethereal beauty and also shyness. Okay. We have the crocodile. We also have Almost There, Do Not Give Up When You've Made It This Far. And we also have Surrender, and it says you are safe and protected. Relax now into the comfort of relief. Okay, so what's coming next in your love life? I do feel, you know, now this could very well be the person who is coming towards you or even a person, a situation that you're currently dealing with. Um, those of you that are already involved with somebody and for those of you that are single, look to this as the person that you could be connecting with. But I'm already kind of getting this energy of someone with the silence and introspection and shyness. It makes me feel that this person is someone who could be I mean, I could, they could either be somebody who's newly single or someone who may have stayed single for quite a long period of time, okay? They could be someone who is a little bit of a slow mover, someone who may, 
I, I feel it almost kind of feels like this person is someone who wants stability. This person who wants to feel that it is safe for them to open up and be vulnerable. Um, because we do have the crocodile here, which is the element of water. Some of you, this could even be like an earth sign or a water sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, or Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Okay, so far. Um, but yes, I feel like this person is someone who is still actively working on their healing, which is a good thing, even though they're not, you know, perfect. I feel like this person has been someone who's been actively working on rebuilding themselves after heartbreak. Okay, they may be someone who is maybe a little bit shy because we have silence here and shyness. Um, I'm also getting Virgo energy it kind of reminds me of the hermit. Um, so this could be somebody who, and also look at that. We've got a, a crocodile and we've got an alligator. I'm going to look this up and see what is it saying about the alligator. We've got water energy here. Let's see what it says about the alligator or crocodile. Sorry. Okay. So it says resting, submerging, collecting energy and cooling off. It says the crocodile reminds us to step back from the external world and turn inward, which is what introspection is about. Now is not the time for decisions, action, or discussion. The crocodile's mantra is wait. <laughs> this doesn't mean lying around hoping life's challenges will disappear. The crocodile is much smarter than that. It means intentionally withdrawing, gathering our awareness, observing and building energy, fill up the vital resources so your next move comes from a place of wisdom and power. It says when it's in balance, it is someone who is wise, patient, a silent powerhouse. Okay. When it's out of balance, it feels stuck and lashes out. Okay. So the, the, the deer is a very powerful energy. Okay. Especially the, the stags here. To me, they remind me a lot of the emperor energy, very stoic, very, um, much protector, um, powerful, intuitive. So it makes me feel like this person is someone who is very observant and who I feel like it kind of makes me feel like a person who, 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 who doesn't say a lot and just, just talks and talks and talks. It's almost like their, their power is in their silence. You know, they, they take their time to think about what they're going to say, which is not a bad thing. Okay. They take their time to think about, to say things to you with meaning, with power, with clarity, with confidence, you know, not just a person who's going to come around you and just tell you what you want to hear. This is someone who is more reserved, more calm, more balanced more grounded to really take their time okay take their time with who they interact with um they're gonna be like i said be that person who thinks before they speak right you don't want somebody to just kind of you know come up to you and say a bunch of stuff to you and then they don't mean any of it right i feel like this person is someone who is truly looking for a stable, solid relationship, somebody who is, uh, who family is going to be something that's very important to them. You know, they, they want love, they want security, they want stability, they want to, you know, I feel like, I feel like this person is, they're ready to let go of the past and move forward. Okay. Move forward with love, move forward with new um, beginnings here. And we also have ethereal beauty. So I do feel like this person is also going to be someone who's very attractive. Okay. Someone who's very attractive. Let's push these in a little bit. I think I want to put some more cards here before we pull the tarot. So let's see what is coming next in your love life. And maybe a message for you too, right? We have surrender and it says you are safe and protected. Relax now into the comfort of relief. And it also says almost there. Do not give up when you've made it this far. Okay. Let's see. What's coming next in your love life? We have on guard here. 
And it says guards will be up in this relationship. It's okay to be cautious and take it slow, but make an effort to trust a little bit more. Okay. And that could definitely be this person's energy, your energy, right? Until a person says, okay, it's safe. You know, this feels comfortable. I can be myself. I can open up. Yeah. And then we've got abstinence here too. Okay. So it says having a dry spell. Um, can be frustrating, but it doesn't have to be take this time to love yourself first. So with this type of energy here, <clears throat> I don't really feel like it's a lack of passion or desire that this person has. Like I said, I'm kind of getting this energy where this, maybe this person hasn't been with anybody in a while. Or maybe you haven't, you know, dated or, or really kind of put yourself out there. You could also be the person who's really shy too. You know, um, so I feel like I'm going to cover this up a little bit. So I feel like this could very well be a situation where because there are guards that are here, you know, I feel like taking it slow, you know, maybe something that this person feels like it's important to, to do. Um, let's look at the tarot and see. What else is coming through here? What's coming next in your love life pile number one? What's coming next in your love life? What is coming next in your love life? The Ten of Cups. I'm going to have to cover that too. Why? YouTube. Ten of Cups. That's beautiful. What is coming next? Wow. There it is. The Emperor. Yeah. I'm feeling for those of you that are single and actually, you know, wanting a serious relationship, I feel like this is what is coming towards you. Okay. This might even be the person that you end up marrying a person that you end up in a long-term relationship with we do have a little baby here okay like i said with the emperor energy the deer um i look at it as a stag um this could be a person who like i said family is important to them they really want that idea of of family you know um such a beautiful energy here so you know, with the with the guarded energy here and the the moving slow, sometimes for some people, like they want everything like hurry up right now. Let's make this happen now. What are we doing? Where are we going? When are we going to be committed? When are we going to be in a relationship? This person might be somebody who is a little bit of a slow mover, but I feel like it's going to be worth it. Okay. Let's see. What is coming next in your love life? We have the Aries energy here. Pisces energy also. We have the Hangman also. Pisces energy. And we have the Magician. Which is a beautiful energy of uh, manifesting. Okay, this might be somebody who's really interested in you, interested in building something with you. It could be something that's really changing your uh, perspective here, okay, on love. It could be some a connection that changes their perspective on love um, and really uh, opening up here. Let's see. We've also got the Three of Cups. There's the Hermit. Okay, so maybe, like I said, for some of you, it could be Virgo, a person who's a Virgo, Pisces, Gemini, Virgo energy, strong earth energy with the Virgo. Let's see. Let's put these in here, too. So, yeah, there could be a little bit of some fears here, but the Three of Cups energy is about going out, having a good time, going on dates, having fun. Um, I feel like this person is really going to be considering here you know, investing time and energy into something here with you. I'm also seeing the sun here. Six of Pentacles is also underneath that as well. Okay. So this could very well be somebody who is wanting to reciprocate your energy, somebody who is wanting to give into 
a relationship. The sun is also here, which is about joy, happiness, fulfillment. Okay. Like I said, for some of you, this could be a person who spent a lot of time alone. Okay. Healing, moving through maybe depression or sadness. And it's kind of like, it almost kind of feels like this person is somebody who's like putting themselves out there again, maybe after heartbreak or after being single for such a long time. Um, wanting to really feel that they're ready. And, you know, of course, we don't know where we're truly ready unless we kind of take that first step and try to say, okay, let's test the waters and see, am I really ready or am I, or do I think I'm ready, you know? But I truly feel that although that there might be a little bit of some insecurities here, a little bit of anxiety and fears about opening up, there's going to be a change or a shift of perspective coming in. And I feel like, like I said, you might actually end up having a long-term relationship or actually being in a um, committed relationship with this person. So we do have some pretty heavy earth energy here again, Taurus. Virgo is something that's coming through pretty strong. Okay. Could also be Gemini. We've got Pisces and Aries energy here as well. Um, Taurus energy. Uh, cancer. Okay. All right. So let's see what else. I don't want to make this reading too long. But let's see. What is coming next in pile number one's love life? What is coming next? High hopes. We've got high hopes here. Opposites attract. Okay. So it could be somebody who maybe you never would have thought yourself attracted to or dating. Um, we also have lessons here. So there could be some important lessons for you and for this person in this connection about what is it that's truly important for you, right? We have avoidance here. So if either one of you have issues with being guarded and running away and closing up, you know, there could be lessons for you to kind of move on past that, right? Let's move past that type of energy here. And then we also have questioning here too. So, I mean, it could very well be somebody that you do meet online for some of you. Um, but yeah, you could be questioning, like, should I give this person a chance? Um, do I really, you know, want to date somebody who is the complete opposite of me? But I feel like it's worth giving it a shot. Okay, for somebody, let's see, what is this questioning energy here, spirit? What is this questioning here? The five of cups. Okay, yeah. So again, like I said, it could either be this person or you who has felt disappointed from past relationships, um, depression, sadness, feeling hopeless in love. But we have the page of cups underneath the deck and the page of wands and the nine of cups. Okay, so this is kind of giving love a try again. Okay, putting your heart out there, being vulnerable excitement you know the page of wands is about excitement passion a passionate new beginning starting something new you know having fun having a good time okay i definitely feel like there will be a lot of attraction between you this person it's going to be something that is mutual and i'm feeling that it is going to be something that does lead into a serious commitment okay all right so that is all that i have for you pile number one i do hope this is helpful for you guys and i will see you in the next reading Hi, pile number two. So those of you that resonated with this flamingo card and the rhodonite, this is going to be your reading today. So we are looking at what is coming next in your love life. Okay. We started off with the flamingo. So let's see what else we've got. We have roots here and it says influence and also support. This kind of reminds me of the three of cups these three little flamingos that are standing together, but we have influence and support with roots. Okay. We also have the crystal grotto with energy and cosmos. Number 11, number 17. We have the elephant. And it says, slow down, make sure you're not rushing. And it says, be extra cautious and let trust be proven rather than given. Okay. Now, I know that some of you that watch this reading are, you know, single. And some of you are involved with people and situations. 
So if you're already involved with somebody, you know, maybe this would be extra advice for you right here. Be extra cautious and let trust be proven rather than given. And it also says slow down and make sure you're not rushing here. Um, I want to see. Let's pull. Let me move this a little bit. As I told pile number one, these are going to be pretty short, quick readings because I do have some uh, things I'm taking care of today. So a little bit limited on time. Okay, let's see. Pile number two, what is coming next in your love life? Let's see what's going on. What is, what is coming next? We have wish come true. Oops. Wish come true. It says someone will possess all the qualities you ever wanted in a partner. A dream come true. And then we also have prize possession. And it says someone is more interested in having arm candy than true love, making it a very superficial relationship. Huh. Okay. Well, those of you that are actively dating okay you could be connecting with more than one person to me these are very clearly two different energies okay <laughs> i don't feel like this is the same person um so it could be a need for you to really um be cautious right slow down be cautious slow down is what spirit's saying so you could have different options here and i because we also have like i said this kind of reminds me of the three of cups you know, which can be about socializing, gatherings, um, going to a party, a celebration, socializing with people, interacting, having fun, going on dates. But three is a crowd. I don't know. <laughs> maybe for some of you, you know, maybe this could be a poly, a poly relationship or it could even be for some of you dealing with third party situations, maybe. Okay. Um, so I do want to get a little bit more with your tarot and kind of see what's going on here. Help us to kind of understand what spirit is saying here. Hmm. Let's do one more shuffle. All right, pile number two. What is coming next in your love life? Okay, so we have High Priestess, the Knight of Swords, and Temperance. Okay. Knight of Swords, Temperance card. Yeah, I can clearly see where Spirit's saying here there's a need to slow down. Because this Knight of Swords person is somebody who might rush in. Okay, you do want to make sure that this person's just not kind of like love bombing you. Because we also have the Ten of Swords here too. The Ten of Swords is a painful ending. So what I'm feeling is happening here is there is somebody coming in here. And I feel like it is this Knight of Swords. Okay, some of you it might even be a fire sign here. Um... I'm feeling this is going to be two different people, okay, quite honestly, two different people here. Death is also at the bottom with the star. Um, this is going to be a really important time for you to really kind of trust your intuition, okay? Because I'm feeling two different energies here. The Knight of Swords type of person might be someone who is rushing in, feeling this rushing type of energy. And the Knight of Swords could potentially be somebody who... It is kind of like, what do they call that? Like a flash in the pan romance, something that is very short lived. Okay. And it could, if you, uh, this is where I feel like you're needing to slow down here. Okay. Because you have to really kind of make sure that you know what this person's true intentions are before you allow yourself to get too emotionally invested. You know, of course, I'm not saying block out your feelings and be completely numb, but be discerning, okay? Pay attention to subtleties and energies and the way that your intuition is kind of guiding you when you're connecting with somebody, okay? Um, 
this is saying here, be extra cautious and let trust be proven rather than given. You know, make sure the person's words are aligning with their actions. Okay. I am feeling that there might be, okay. And of course, you know, someone can only hurt you if you let them hurt you. Okay. If you're truly discerning and you are paying attention, setting strong boundaries, okay. Not letting some, not, not taking less than you deserve, being clear about what it is that you want. And if you know that person is not in alignment with that, don't be afraid of letting that person go. Okay. But I am kind of feeling this person here with that Knight of Swords energy um, might be something that could end up in an ending here. And like, again, if, if you allow this person to hurt you by, you know, falling for, say, something that they say, and then they completely lead you on, you could end up hurt, right? So there's a need for you to really trust your intuition. The temperance card is also about patience. It's about balance, okay? So if a person is coming towards you and everything kind of just seems like it's like it's rushed and they're telling you things right away the first night, like, oh my goodness, I've never felt like this before and this is so amazing. Pay attention to that, right? Take that and put it at the back of your mind and say, okay, this person has said this to me really quickly, you know, and even though, yes, you might feel, feel a connection with them too, pay attention to how, the, how they act after that. How are they changing over the days, over the weeks? Are they still putting in that much effort or have they backed off? Have they, have they stopped texting you? Have they stopped calling you, right? To me, that's kind of the way that that Knight of Swords energy works is very bold and very just like hurry up and rushing into, and the Knight of Swords is very impulsive, okay? And it could be you that's kind of wanting to impulsively move into something because you're somebody who might be wanting something serious like right now, <laughs> like yesterday, you know? So this is where Spirit's saying for you too, maybe it's time for you to kind of take your time, trust what your intuition is telling you, Okay. Um, but then I feel like we have the death card here, which is about ending endings. Maybe you could be ending something, right? Maybe some of you are already in that situation with the person like that. And you could be ending a situation that does not serve you, right? Maybe some of you could also be healing from a situation that happened to you like that. And the star energy is something beautiful. Okay. It brings about healing, but it's also something that restores faith and trust and belief in the universe that you are going to be guided towards the right person. Okay. The star is also aligning you with your destiny. The queen of wands has a very passionate energy. I feel like there's a need for you to really be confident with how you choose to move forward with whoever it is. Okay. I am feeling that you are going to have a passionate new beginning with somebody and I am feeling for some of you. Okay, of course, it's a general reading, so it may not be every single one of you, but we have the wish come true card here and star. Okay, so I am feeling for many of you, you are going to be meeting a very special person, especially with that cosmos and that energy there it, in the number 11. It kind of makes me feel, especially with the elephant here, which is a very spiritual energy, that some of you are going to have a very beautiful spiritual bond and connection with somebody coming in for you. And some of you, this is your person. Okay, so try not to, I would say, let certain things that fail and don't make, you know, don't last. Try not to get so discouraged by them. Trust that spirit is preparing you for this here, which is absolutely beautiful. I feel like this connection here is going to be something that is very transformative, very healing for you, very supportive um, in that. And I feel like there may also be a very spiritual connection between you and this person. Okay. Let's see here. What is coming next in your love life? Pile number two. We have fulfillment. I love that. Okay. We have fulfillment. We've also got Pisces, Sagittarius. Okay. 
Yeah, we've got guarded here. It says go within, being left out. And that's what I kind of feel like with this Knight of Swords person. There's somebody that you might be dealing with that kind of might abandon or ghost. Okay. And maybe this is a time for you to kind of really go within and ask yourself, okay, what is it that I'm really looking for, right? Some of you can be accepting. I'm seeing Don Juan at the bottom. So some of you might be attracting a person here that could come in as a test. Okay, I'm just going to say it could be a karmic lesson here. Um, it could be a person who's interested in other people or a person who's not wanting to settle down. That's what that kind of Knight of Swords energy gives to me. So it could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Doesn't have to be, but it could be a person who you just kind of feel, okay? If this person feels like they're rushing or they're telling you too much too soon and it seems too good to be true, it probably is, okay? It probably is. And maybe this is you kind of coming to a place of acceptance, like, yeah, this is not going to work for me, okay? Especially if this person is entertaining other people here. We have a new beginning, after a long journey for you, okay, especially for those of you that you feel like this this love, we've got blocks being removed here, truth being exposed. So maybe this is you kind of finding out things that you don't want to hear about this other person over here. Um, but we got that long journey, right, for some of you, finally getting to blocks being removed in your love life. This kind of feels like maybe it's for some of you, it's like that last test, right? That last test, that last hurdle, before you clear this karmic energy, we've got blocks being removed, a new beginning, and I'm seeing a wedding here. Okay, <laughs> so some of you, this might very well be you connecting and meeting with this person you're meant to be with. Okay, um, yeah, I love that. Okay, what else am I doing here? Let's, what did I want to do? I can't remember what else I did for pile number one. Let's just see if there's any other messages, advice that spirit has for you. Okay, about your love life here. Any other messages, spirit for pal number two. We have ignore all the distractions around you. It's important to detach from other people's energy and focus on your own. So if other people that are kind of causing drama, chaos hurtful behavior, avoiding you, not texting you back, not calling you, hot and cold. Those things are only distracting you from the person you're truly meant to be with. Okay? How long you choose to keep yourself in that situation prolongs you meeting the right person. So just do keep that in mind, okay? Um, we also have love and accept yourself exactly as the way you are, okay? We also have get ready for extreme wealth and abundance to manifest into your life. And this, we're taking it in the context of love, okay? So if you ignore the things that are not in alignment for you, you open yourself up to the right things, the right people, the right energy, Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have magic, expect the unexpected and be prepared for miracles. And some of you, yes, it has been a long journey of pain and of heartache and, you know, unfortunately kind of going through some painful lessons that are here, but it's all coming, um, I feel like to a head here where you are aligning with the right person here. Okay. All right. So that is all that I have for you for pile number two. I do hope this is helpful for you guys and I will see you in the next reading. Hi, pile three. So those of you that resonated with the bull just makes me think of Taurus energy. Um, this is going to be a reading today. So what is coming next in your love life? Um, as I said in the intro that today is going to be a short reading. Okay. Cause I do have some stuff to take care of, but we have the bull here. We have the raccoon with curiosity and perseverance. We have kudzu with abundant growth and willpower. Okay. Abundant growth and willpower. Number 30, number five. We also have don't forget there are no limits when it comes to what you want. Okay. <laughs> Wow. And then we also have express your feelings more openly. Unexpressed emotions and expectations will only lead to frustration. 
and then we have the butterfly. Okay, so I'm going to pull two more cards here. What is coming next in your love life? We've got long distance for some of you. It says it may be tough to keep the love alive or they live in another location from you. Try to stay positive. Okay, so it could be a long distance connection for some of you. What's coming next? We also have prize possession. This is the second time this came out for a pile. And it says someone is more interested in having arm candy than true love, making it a very superficial relationship. So you want to make sure that's not you, okay? Um, that you're not that you're looking deeper. You're not just looking into superficial. Of course, it could be the other person too, you know, either one of you. But that would be something to change. I am feeling with the butterfly being here that this connection is going to be something that is very transformative. Some of you could be dealing with a person who, you know, has a difficult time with opening up and expressing their feelings and their emotions. Um, but even with that, it with the curiosity here and the perseverance, especially with the bull, with the with it reminds me, like I said, of Taurus energy. To me, I'm kind of seeing it that even though there might be a little bit of some bumps in the road here with this connection, that the willpower, the abundant growth is that this connection might be something that kind of starts off a little bumpy. But I feel like if the two of you really have the willpower to continue to to keep going. I feel like this is the energy that's coming through here with this reading today. Okay. It says, don't forget there are no limits when it comes to what you want. Right. So I'm also feeling for you, this is a need for you to not back down from you what you want. Okay. Uh, speak your truth, open up also for yourself too, and speak what it is that you want, what it is that you're looking for in a relationship. We're seeing the energy of perseverance here, which does remind me of the seven of wands. Okay. The seven of wands is about setting boundaries. It's about not backing down. So if commitment, relationship, something solid is something that you want, don't lose sight of that. Okay. Um, I'm going to pull some tarot and see what other messages we can get here about what is happening in this connection here. But I am feeling like this connection is going to be very transformative. Um, I'm also seeing it that it could be something that transforms and changes over time in a beautiful way. Okay. But yes, make sure this is not you, that you're not just looking for somebody that's hot and, you know, they're not treating you right, you know, or, or the other way around is somebody who's, who has been very superficial, you know, just by basing on looks alone and, you know, if you're being too picky, okay, <laughs> don't be picky. You can be selective, right? You can have, you know, okay, I want a person who looks a certain way, but sometimes love comes in, you know, in, in, in different forms and in, in a different way, you know, sometimes we have, and I will tell you guys, when I was still dating, I would only date white guys, Okay, I would only date white guys. And I was just like, never, I will never date this. I will never date that. I will never date this. And I only dated people who um, were like really physically fit and like hot, right? <laughs> like hot. And that was like the thing. It was like, that was the only thing that my mind was like stuck on is they have to be super attractive and they have to have a body like this and they have to, you know, you know, look a certain way. And it was like, it didn't work out, right? Because it was me kind of just kind of stuck in that place of just fixated on love can only look like this. Okay. And you know, the people that I've actually had relationships with were not that. <laughs> they were not that. Um, you know, not that the people that I've had relationships with have been unattractive. They, they're they good looking people, but not in the way that I had envisioned. This is what my person needs to look like. This is what, you know, their body needs to look like. And I was somebody who was incredibly 
superficial, basing it off of their physical attractiveness and not thinking about anything else, you know, not worried about do they have their life together? Do they have, you know, do they have goals? Do they have a job? You know, stuff like that. So, you know, I know that, you know, I've, I know it happens, you know, <clears throat> so sometimes we have to grow out of that. We have to look bigger. What is it that we're really asking for, you know, when it comes to love and not base it so much on a person's physical appearance, but how they treat you, right? Do they love you? Do they, are they open to com um, communicating with you, expressing themselves? Do they feel vulnerable with you? Can they allow for vulnerability in the relationship? Do they know how to resolve conflict, you know? different things of that nature okay so let's look at the tarot and see for you pile number three what is coming next in your love life i'm gonna have to cover one of these up a little bit okay so we've got the ten of cups here and the nine of cups nine of cups ten of cups what is this Eight of Wands in reverse. What is coming next in your love life? The Four of Cups. And the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Huh. I feel this eight of wands energy in reverse is talk can talk about delays, setbacks, um, miscommunication between people, especially with feelings here. Okay. This is spirit saying here that both of you need to express more openly. Okay. The four of cups energy can be when we are kind of shutting down, we're closing ourselves off to opportunities that are right there. And I feel like spirit's kind of bringing in wish fulfillment here, something that's going to make you happy. You have to keep yourself open to receive it because I feel like with the Knight of Pentacles energy here in reverse too, that, you know, some of you, this could be earth energy. We've got uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have Pisces energy, Sagittarius. Um, but what I feel like is happening here is that one of you out of this connection might be a little bit hesitant to move forward. Okay. So I am feeling like patience is going to be patience, persistence, perseverance is going to be something that's required. Um, you know, this, this, the four of cups can sometimes be when we are having a pity party for ourselves or feeling sorry for ourselves. Um, the four of cups can also be when we have a blind spot, when there's something that is right there in front of our face and we're either distracted and focusing on other things. We're not seeing that opportunity that's right in front of us. Okay. So I feel like this is spirit saying, keep your eyes open. Okay. Pay attention to the people that are brought into your life, um, surrounding you here. Okay. We also have cancer energy. Um, I do want to see what else is here. What is coming next in pile number Ace of Cups in reverse, the High Priestess, and the Five of Cups. Yeah, so somebody here, it could be you or the other person, somebody might be afraid to really open up their heart. Okay, I'm seeing the Four of Pentacles energy here person could be afraid of taking a risk, afraid of really opening up their heart. But I am seeing that there is going to be a shift or a change here within this connection. Okay. There's going to be a shift of perspective here. There's going to be after a period of maybe this person taking some time to think. I have a feeling for some of you, this person could be someone who has a, a tendency to self-sabotage. Okay. there. Uh, I feel like this person is going to be afraid of getting hurt, afraid of opening up. <clears throat> they can be a person who kind of self-isolates or you could be that person too. Okay. This person's still healing. You could still be healing here. The eight of pentacles is here with the ace of wands. So I feel like <clears throat> there's going to be this change or this shift here that's happening within this connection where 
there's a lot more effort being put in, okay? There's truly a lot of potential that's here within this connection to grow, to evolve, to move past the challenges that are here. We do also have Leo energy here. What else is here? Aquarius, Virgo, okay? Aquarius, Virgo um, energy here as well. So I feel like with the strength card, this is talking about having courage, about facing fears. So if this person or you is someone who has fears of really opening up, this is going to be shifting and changing. So I truly feel like there is going to be potential for you to have a relationship or a connection with this person. Okay. It's kind of what I'm getting there. There's going to be a shift here, a change. We got the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. I feel like it is going to be a shift or a change for the better, for the positive. It's also coming in here. Okay. Let's pull some other oracle cards and see what else is coming through for you. Pile number three. What is coming next <clears throat> in your love life? Yeah. Someone's afraid of like taking that next step. You know, a little bit of procrastination, hesitation with opening up, right? But in order for us to move ahead, right, we have to let that guard down. We have to um be vulnerable and you know it could be an issue that this person has you have okay what is coming next in pile number three's love life we have harmony here harmony which is kind of balance right restoring harmony and balance here we have feels like home i love that and then we have admiration, all beautiful cards. And then we also have wedding here as well. So some of you, you know, yes, maybe it could be something that does lead to a, um, a, ser a very serious commitment. Okay. Some of you can be just commitment, relationship, taking that next step. Okay. What else here? What is coming next in pile number three is love life. We have working together. Okay, well, maybe some of you might work together, like literally work together. Um, we also have trapped here. Okay, trapped. So somebody, this to me more or less is that that fear. Okay, the fear that a person has. The um, Some of you might also need to kind of take the lead here. Okay. Maybe that means you being more open, you being more expressive, not in a way that's trying to force or push the person right into committing or into opening up, because of course we need to feel secure. We want to feel safe that it's, it's okay for us to kind of, um, open up here. Okay. I'm also seeing expression here at the bottom, which is going to help with stability. I'm feeling we've got stability here with communication. Okay. So I feel like this is. A situation that could very well grow and evolve past. Like I said in the beginning, I feel like there might be a little bit of a bumpy road in the beginning of this connection with this person. Maybe there's a need for really working on communication, expressing yourself a little bit better. Okay. I'm kind of seeing a little bit of resistance here, but I feel like you guys are going to be able to get move through it. Okay. It could be something that feels very soulmate energy, something that's very balanced. Um, I feel like the two of you kind of working together to actually make it work. Okay. You admiring them, them admiring you. There's something powerful here as well. Okay. All right. So that is all that I have for you. Pile number three. I do hope this is helpful for you guys and I will see you in the next reading.